school. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. That's even better. This is probably my worst nightmare up to stand in front of you. I can talk to children, but not to adults, so if I just pretend I'm talking here, it'll be a lot easier for me. Um, our history of why we're doing what we're doing is it is 100 years since the end of the First World War. But in the First World War, Flanders School lost 29 of its former pupils. Second World War, we lost another 14 of our pupils. We felt this year, of all years, we should honour our fallen pupils. So, with the help of our friends, our colleagues, our newfound friends from the Defence School of Transport, we'd like to unveil our statues after Mother Jane has had a few prayers for us, please. A prayer reading and a few prayers to pray. So um, hopefully things should really go. We've just got a, an RF fly pass coming by as well, if you just look in there. Okay, guys. So it's Mother Jane now, please. In the light of Christ, we welcome you on this special day. Today is about the past, it's about the present, and about the future. We remember the past, the great war that ended a hundred years ago. We unveil these works of art, these aids to our memory in the present day. And today we hope for a peaceful future. May the peace of Christ burn in our hearts and dawn in our world. Jesus said, This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. We gather here to remember the armistice that marked the beginning of the end of the First World War. We meet to honour the memory of those who gave their lives in the First World War and in other conflicts since then. And we pay tribute especially to those from this village and past pupils of this school. With gratitude, we call to mind their sacrifice. We look back in sorrow for all those who suffered injury and loss. We recall those who are suffering in war and conflict in our world today. And we look forward to the day when the nations of this world will be governed according to the ways of God's kingdom, God's rule of justice and peace. We wait in hope and pray for the ending of all violence and bloodshed. So let's pray, and to help us pray, from the preschool children, which they have made themselves. They're absolutely beautiful. And all of us have poppies, and here is a big one. And the colours on the poppy will help us to pray. The black in the middle of the poppy is for prayers of loss. Loving God, we pray for all who have died as a result of war. For those in the armed forces, those who are at sea and in the air, for those who supported, for those from Flamborough whose names will be read shortly, for all the civilians who died in the First World War and in all the wars since, for all those whose lives have been cut short, who will never grow old. Loving God, we know you hold them in your loving embrace, and we know you know the pain of those who are left behind. 
Comfort all those who mourn, those whose young didn't return, and those whose lives are now limited by disability and mental disability. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The red petals on the poppy are for the sacrifice. Lord, we thank you for those who have made the greatest sacrifice, who have laid down their life for their friends. We thank you for the gift of life and freedom that they have given us. Loving God, it is your will that all of humanity be united in your Son, Jesus Christ. We pray that where there is violence and hatred, there will be peace. Where there is injustice, there will be fairness. Where there is destruction, there will be building up. Where there is pain and injury, And now we come to the unveiling of the statues and the stone. These statues represent all the people who have fought on our behalf. They are a symbol of love, of courage, of sacrifice, of loyalty, of remembering. They are a symbol of a national pride that now reaches out the hand of friendship to other nations. They are a symbol of our friends. Balderson will now read the Roll of Honour. Roll of Honour, 1940, 1980. Yeah. John T. Hook, George Mill, Charlie Bailey.
George Regan, William Balfour, Thompson Chadwick, Robert P. Edmonds, Frank Bowden, Tom Burke, William Wilfred Drake, Henry Gray, George Hunt, Wilfred Ogle, George B. Drake, William Craven Turner, Arthur Stork, Thomas E. Hall, Charles Major Wiltshire Regiment, Thomas J. Robson, William Sunley, Joseph W. Danby. Roll of Honour 1939-1945, John Clark, Gordon Smith, Charles Richard Pryor, Joseph Lewis, George Henry Good, Robert Hawksley Barnes, Alan Bruce Harrison, Harold Harper, Edith Major, Frank Stanley James, Jack Emerson, William Field Dunn, Arthur Woodhouse, 1947. They shall go not old, and we that are left no old. They shall not weary them, nor the earth condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember.
When you go home, tell them of us and say that for their tomorrow we give our today. We now come to the lane of the cross. First we have a wreath from the armed service. And we're almost at the end of our ceremony now, and I'd like to close in prayer. Loving God, thank you for this wonderful opportunity to remember. Thank you for these statues which will be a lasting reminder of those who have gone before, those who have given so much. Help us to honour their memory and to honour the contribution that is still made by the armed forces to the life of this country. As we lead lives which follow Jesus' way of love and truth and life. Let's pray together the prayer that Jesus himself taught us, that great prayer that God's kingdom will come. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thy is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. May God give to you and to all those whom you love his comfort and his peace, his light and his joy in this world and the next. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you now and always. Amen.
Sam, I'd like to say thank you. But really, thank you to everybody who's come, especially the armed forces, ex ex-armed forces. But this whole thing has not been possible without certain people. Those really do need them um, congratulating and thank you for this. Best I'd like to congratulate and really appreciate it. It's John Crossland from Heritage Forge. Without this, this really would not have been possible. His guidance for him to do things has been absolutely fabulous. His brother Paul, which I can't see Paul, but Paul, his help with all the groundwork. Both brothers have worked tirelessly to get this thing on track. They were working this morning at half past seven with me, making sure everything was right. So everybody would have a great day. Secondly, I do not think this would have happened today if it hadn't been for one person alone. My idea may be yes, but the one person who has been the catalyst of everything happening was Mrs. Margaret Colley. Her tireless work has been absolutely fantastic. The work she did for memory lady Jim was unbelievable. And today, the whole was absolutely superb. I'd really like to embarrass you, Margaret, by asking you to come forward, please. safe journey home. Unfortunately it's back to school kids. <laughs> Thank you very much everybody. I think that should have been fortunately it's back to school kids. And I want to finish by thanking Mr. Mark Smales. Yes. He has uh, been very modest about his own contribution to this project but he has been the, uh, a big part of the inspiration behind it. He's led uh, much of the hard work and coordinated the work that's gone into uh, making it all happen. So, Mr. Smales. Very much, everybody. Uh, as I said, safe journey and uh, take care. Uh,